How's it going everyone? This is Tom with RedmanPie.com. Now the YouTube app for Android was recently updated, one of the biggest changes uh, ever to occur for the YouTube application itself, and now this is pushed to iPad and iPhone, uh, or iOS in general, so I'm going to be going over uh, the new changes to the YouTube application on both Android and iOS. So I mentioned that this is one of the biggest changes the YouTube app's ever seen, and that definitely holds true. It's not due to the interface. The interface is largely similar. It adds consistency uh, with Google Now. It has more kind of card-style interface. Uh, but it is the multitasking functionality. As you can see right here, I've got a video playing in the bottom right-hand corner. It's actually paused at the moment. But just by swiping down on the images themselves, on the video thumbnail, uh, it actually just hides the video in your bottom right hand corner, you can even play it and it still plays audio. It's a very, very cool change. It works in uh, landscape and portrait on the iPad uh, and portrait only on smartphones. If we just compare the Android and the iOS versions here very quickly, you will see that uh, generally the interface is very similar. They've done a very good job in bringing uh, the certain feel that the Android app has to iOS. And just in general usability of the multitasking feature in the new Android app, it's just incredibly useful. You don't really realize uh, how often on your computer, for instance, uh, you're using multitasking in another window, but you don't really get the option to do that in a, a YouTube application, and this has really, really solved that. You can just navigate and uh, look for videos to watch whilst watching a video, and just kind of having it play in the background. There are other changes included in the app as well, such as uh, more prominent thumbs up buttons, and also the icons on both iOS and Android are different here. As you can see, they just are slightly redesigned uh, to in keep in keeping with the new YouTube branding, which we're seeing with the kind of a uh, lot of white space and the align to the left, which is just weird. But to be honest, the main feature is the multitasking edition. It's hugely useful. I'm finding myself using it a lot uh, on my Android and iOS devices. If you are interested in the smaller additions to the new YouTube 5.0 app, uh, I'll have a post linked on redmanpie.com where I outline and all of these smaller ones, which weren't really as noticeable as the new multitasking feature. So chances are most of you who do have uh, an Android or iOS device, I'd imagine you do if you are watching this video, uh, have one or the other. Just go ahead and download the update. Uh, if, if it hasn't been pushed to your device already, I will link uh, the Android APK so you can go ahead and download it. Here's just a quick demo. As you can see, it doesn't work in landscape orientation on phones, probably due to the lack of space. But it really definitely has. It can prove my experience. Uh, on the YouTube application on mobile, and I'll probably use mobile more often for my YouTube uh, media consumption as a result. So as I said, go ahead and download it if you haven't done already. Uh, it really is something you need to experience because it really is a fantastic new addition. If you've enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like. Get social with Redmond Pie on all of the links down below in the description. They'll be there as always. If you have enjoyed or found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like, and otherwise, I will catch you next time.